Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my English class. Now you guys are with me. I am Tisha Sai Mai from TSL Chiang Mai School. Let's get to the point. Last time we've learned about pronouns, which are possessive, personal, reflexive, relative, and intensive pronouns. Today we are gonna continue the rest of it, which are also important in English. So, are you ready? Let's get started. All right, let's continue from the last time. The sixth type of pronoun is indefinite pronoun. Do you still remember personal pronoun? Because indefinite pronoun is similar to it. But the thing is, indefinite pronoun refers to people or things, but they don't specify person or thing to reference. For example, someone, anyone, nothing, or nowhere. Number one, there is something on the table. Someone just knocked the door. And last one, Jack got nothing from the shop. Next is demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronoun is used to point out or more define a person or a thing. There are four demonstrative pronouns, which are this, these, that, and those. I know you guys are thinking that, hmm, they sound all the same. How should I differentiate them? There you go. If it is this and that, this and that are used with singular words. This is used when the object is close to you, while that is far away from you. These and those are used with plural words. But again, if objects are close to you, you use these. But if they are away from you, you use those. For example, this is a cat. You can see that the cat is close to the speaker. That is a cat. We use that because the cat is far away from the speaker. These are my dogs. Those are my dogs. Next is interrogative pronoun. This pronoun is used to ask questions in a sentence. The main interrogative pronoun are who, which refers to a person or people, whom refers to a person or people as an object, what refers to a thing or things, which refers to people or things, and it is used to let the listeners to choose between one or two. The last one, whose, refers to a person who owns something. For example, who took my car? I don't know. Maybe it's been stolen. Whom did you see at the mall? My ex-boyfriend. The reason that we use whom is because you want to know who that your listener see at the mall. Therefore, you use whom since it is an object. Next one. What does he want? I think he just wants a cup of coffee. Next is reciprocal pronoun. There are only two words in reciprocal pronoun, which are each other and one another. We use this type of pronoun when each of two or more subjects act in the same way towards the other. Each other is used with two subjects. For example, Jack and Mary gave each other rings on their wedding day. Mr. Santos and Mr. Mike give their cards to each other during the meeting. But one another is different. It is used when there are more than two subjects. For example, the students congratulated one another after giving practice speeches. The kids spend time kicking the ball to one another. And now here we are, the last type of pronouns, distributive pronoun. Distributive pronoun refers to one person, animal, or thing at a time. This type of pronoun includes each, neither, and either, paired with singular noun and plural verbs. Each means every one of two or more people or things when you are thinking about them separately. Neither means not one nor the other of two things or people. And either means one or the other of two. For example, each boy likes different sports. Neither girl can do that. But if it is each of, neither of, 
and either of. They are paired with plural nouns and singular verb. For example, each of the answers is correct. Neither of the girls can do that. Now we just finished the last five types of pronoun. Let's do the exercise to check your understanding. First, let's try to do demonstrative pronoun. Complete with this, that, these, or those. Number one, is a boy. Correct, that is a boy. Number two, is a doll. Correct, this is a a doll. Number three are the boots. Correct. These are the boots. Number four are your cats. Correct. Those are your cats. And last one are houses. These are houses. And before we finish our class today, let's try interrogative pronoun. Tell you the secret. My son. Correct. Who told you the secret? Number two. Did you call last night? My mother-in-law. Very good. Whom did you call last night? Number three happened I got a new job what happened number four sport do you like better basketball or football I prefer basketball correct which sport do you like better dog is this it belongs to my grandfather correct whose dog is this Number six, made breakfast. Jonas. Correct. Who made breakfast? And last one, does that robber want? He just wants money. Excellent. What does that robber want? All right, guys, now we just finished 10 types of pronoun. I know it was the long journey with pronoun, but you guys made it. I hope what we've learned today and from the previous video can help you when you need to use it. Thanks for watching my video. If you need to learn or watch more videos from PSL, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again and see you next time on my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.